it's hot um, in the suit. And it's, I mean, it's, it's hot if it's cold outside, you're always pretty hot. But I think it gives you a sense of swag, wouldn't you say? I mean, you just have like, I mean, you put it on and you're not you anymore, you're Pete. And so you just feel very, you, you feel cool. Pistol Pete became OSU's official mascot in 1958 after the death of his inspiration, Frank Eaton. Eaton was a famous gunslinger and marshal who resided in nearby Perkins, Oklahoma. Since 1958, 78 different students have been Pistol Pete. Each year, 10 to 15 students try out for the position before a judging panel of former Pete's. Only two are selected. Because most of the time when somebody puts on Pistol Pete's head for the first time, it is really awkward, looks goofy, they don't know what they're doing, they can't keep it balanced on their head and they're moving around and holding it up here and so they just look silly. These students soon discover they represent not just Pete, but also the university and its values. There are a few things more representative of Oklahoma than a cowboy. Certainly hardworking, you know, somebody that's, that's oh, interested in sort of getting to know and being around and being with other people, part of the same family. Throughout the year, the Pistol Peets attend more than 500 events, including pep rallies, public school events, business openings, weddings, birthday parties, and of course, all the athletic events. From these events come a wealth of stories. Once, Dylan Craig took part in a wedding as Pete, but nearly rained on the parade. I take out my pistol and I shoot it twice, <coughs> and there's actually quite a bit of smoke that comes out of the end of that pistol. And what I didn't realize is just like right above me, was a smoke detector. And so it set off the fire alarm and like people like panicking, but I mean, they were able to get it turned off pretty quick and the sprinklers didn't go off, so it was all good. Lance Millis once got to meet a child diagnosed with leukemia who had some high profile connections. And he'd just gotten back from a trip to Washington DC, a Make-A-Wish Foundation trip to Washington DC to meet the president. And he got back and was talking to somebody I don't know, with the foundation or with OSU. Anyway, he said, that was neat meeting the president, but what I'd really like to do is meet Pistol Pete. Um, anyway, he wrote me a, a really neat note uh, thanking me for meeting with him and everything. And Pistol Pete, I love you. You're my best friend. Some might even say that Pistol Pete is OSU's best friend. For O-State TV, I'm Stephen Briscoe. Go Pokes.